two, one, stand back up in a blob! No, I'm well done. Well... Oh. It's pretty cool. Mm. Great job, everybody. Well done, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we got there. Teams, nine hours, and very soon, it will all be for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will be for the memories. We're going to have incredible memories, even though very soon we will have a lot of rubble. But for now, they look unreal. So, well, hold on, everyone. They look so good. I'm, I'm, I'm really torn. Part of me wants to blow them up. Part of me doesn't want to blow them up. All right, let's soak them in before we blow them up. Why don't we take a look at Andrew and Damien? OK, here we go. We are primed for a prison break. Prison oh, yeah. Prison break, yep. There's a prison full of prisoners, and they have worked out a way to escape on a vehicle. So we have our prison transport pushing through the prison gates and then heading to freedom over our ramp and our roadblock. And then as they leave, hopefully, boom, we're going to blow this thing up and prisoners are going to escape everywhere. Left, right, up, down, doesn't matter. Get out of there, fellas. <laughs> what I love is it's a prison break of the of the highest improbable order. Yep. I gotta blame the cops a little bit for only having a boom gate plus a ramp leading out. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with the things that I really like about your vehicle. I think you've nailed the scale. I'm also really happy with the level of detail. I just grab a prisoner. Number 42 here. <laughs> I'm impressed. The orange pants, I think it's a good colour contrast and I think it'll help make it pop when it explodes. Mm. You've put a good, I don't know, 100 or so I behind there ready to go? Yeah. Yep. And what do you think their chances of survival are? I think it'll be mixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like a funny thing to say, but it's a lovely jail. Like, it's a well-built <laughs> jail. Not a question, just well done on your jail. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing to do with this beautiful jail. Yep. Let's blow it up. up. All right, good luck, guys. <laughs> Hopefully the result will be like a big movie poster, you know, have the bus flying through the air, ex uh, explosion behind it. But our biggest worry is all about the timing. We don't really know a lot about explosives. I know we look like we might, but we don't. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. All right, Andrew, you ready? You're going to drive and just keep driving? Keep driving. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> it is raining prisoners. Wow, unreal. Holy cow. I think the way you laced the inside of the walls with the, the prisoners, they were sort of the highlight after the explosion. What needed to happen for the bus to get away? I just a little bit longer for it to get up the ramp. Might have got clear. I've got to say, <laughs> even though that happened, that bus exploded <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> awesome. I think we learned just how powerful the explosives are. Yes, yeah. we did. I thought it was great, guys. Well done. Well done, well done. Kevin Wright. So today we built a gem train coming out of a mountain. So we've got a group of people that are mining this uh, mountain, getting all the gems out of it. And we've got some jungle warriors who are planting dynamite. And they're going to blow up the mine, reclaim the mountain. There is pinks in there, there's greens in there, blues in there. It's this beautiful bridge. And a little train full of gems, ready to get blown up. You've built a really detailed world. Brickman, what are your thoughts? I think the story's so much fun. So that's a tick from me. 
and the train's great, Ryan, it really is. Do we want the front of the train to stay intact? Is that important? Uh, I'm hoping that the train does end up coming off the track. Just about the jewels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now the only thing left to do is blow it to bits. Three, two, one. That's a lot of jewels in the air. Isn't it ever? Oh, it looks beautiful. That's actually a beautiful that shot. That looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I actually really like the scene, how it came out and it kind of panned up after. We got to see all that really nice tree work. Then once it blew up, just loading your model full of every sparkly piece there was, it literally non-stop rained jewels until the end. And not only do you have the sparkles, but because you'd made a story that it was suitable for that, that's what absolutely played into it. Well done. Well done, guys. <laughs> Big door explodes and the robot comes through the smoke and the explosion, it's going to look awesome. Brickman, your final hopes and dreams for this. I hope you've built that gate flimsily enough yeah. <laughs> to be able to explode well. <sighs> Good luck, guys. All right, let's hope this is the last we ever see of that wall. Oh, yeah, boy. There you go. Oh, and the wall is gone. Yeah. Get the yeah. water in the tank. The segments on the buildings worked really well, didn't they? Yeah. Because the explosion went up in the air, I thought that looked amazing. Surprise packet for me was the water tower. I thought the water tower sprayed that blue everywhere. That was fantastic. I think you've got the actual reveal, which is the moment that you were looking for. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Alex. So today, we met this massive alien overlord on this foreign planet. The aliens bursting out of the ground with this massive mouth. Then the tongue coming out. We have this flying V formation of these spaceships. And the central spaceship is our moving story element. It's bursting away at the last minute. How are you feeling about this, Al? I didn't enjoy the process of making it, but looking at it now, <laughs> I like it. it. <laughs> yeah. What was it in the process that stuck you? I don't know how these explosives are going to work. I didn't know how to plan for it, so I didn't know how to build it. So that got in your head a little bit. Yeah. What I would say is the colour scheme. I'm OK with the yellow. I think the yellows are super bright, but there's a lot of the dark tan base plate at the front. I don't know if yellow is the right colour against the dark tan. I'm curious as to what's going to be left of our friend here. Are, are the eyes going to stay on? So you want the alien to implode or explode? So ideally, ideally, cheeks blow out, <laughs> but his sort of basic head stays there. When you were building this model, the explosives were almost an afterthought. Bit of a risk. Look, I think probably because you weren't certain about how it's going to go. You haven't really thought about that. We've had strange things happen on this show before, so it could work out perfectly, but I'm just not sure. Here we go. Let's see how she blows. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Real, it's kind of like perfectly outrunning the debris. Got overtaken by a ton. You! Oh. Apart from being overtaken by the tongue, usually that's not a hero move. You really didn't plan out the explosives to give off a particular moment of impact, so it was very scattered. However, the timing worked. The way the eyes kind of fell down at the end, I thought that was kind of neat. That was great. Nice. Well done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 